Hi guys, good evening. Hi teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening. Good evening teacher. How was your weekend? How was your weekend, guys? Very good. Fine, it's quite very good. Okay, that's good to hear. So, I'm sorry, again, my voice is not helping me, still recovering from the voice, okay? Um, but today we're going to be working on an exercise. We're going to be doing, well, not an exercise, it's your midterm. So, I want you to um, open up the platform, okay? So, we can do the midterm together by sections. I'll give you time and then we're just going to go over the answers together, okay? So we're going to our midterm is in after section three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, section three, midterm. Tell me when you're there, okay? We're gonna go section by section. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for each section, and then we're just going to check the answers together, okay? Just make sure that you guys have it correct. So for this first part, for the listening, you need to listen to the audio, and then you need to answer four questions, okay? And I'll give you five minutes for this one, okay? So you can get started right now. Are you guys already on the platform, or let me know when you guys are ready? Are you I'm here. Okay, super.
Are you guys ready with the answers? Or do you need more time? Are you guys ready? Hello? Are you there? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Ah, okay. Okay, I'll give you a couple more minutes. Let me know. Okay. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Tell okay, me when thanks. you're ready. Okay, teacher. Okay, super. Don't thank worry. You, Let you. me know. Three point four, right? And it's the midterm that it's right after at the end of section three. Okay. Midterm. Mm -hmm. Midterm. Sam. Okay. We're doing section A listening. And I'm giving you a couple of minutes so we can go over the answers for you to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I finished. Okay. I'll give two more minutes. We're starting at 9 10 to check out okay. the answers. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay. Thank you already.
Okay, guys, so let's go over the answers together. I hope you have them all correct. Okay, so the first one was, I am grew up in San Francisco. I hope that's your answer for number one. Then for number two, because it says, Tom recently moved into San Diego. He was born in Japan, but grew up in San Francisco. San Francisco, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So depending on the question, that's the answer. He moved to San Diego, he was born in Japan, but he grew up in San Francisco. Carol used to read comic books. Comic books. Okay, very good. Number three, according to Helen, there isn't enough parking downtown, right? She said that. Yeah. Okay, and number four, Anna can join a carpool by calling a phone number, okay? And there's in the audio you could hear, in order to join a carpool, there is a phone number that you must call. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have it correct? Yeah, teacher. Super, great job, guys. In my, in my case, yes, teacher. Super, okay. Okay, guys, so let's move to the second part. This is the first one, part A. Let's move into... Part B, the use of past tense. I'll give you just three questions, four minutes or five minutes, okay? So good luck with this part. How much minutes? minutes five, five minutes. Okay, okay. Or let me know when you're ready to. Tell me when you're finished, you can tell me.
Okay, guys, let's go over the answers together. I hope you have them all correct. For number one, where were you born? Because we're talking about you. Okay, so it's where were you born? I was born in Mexico City. Um, for number two, <clears throat> Did he study French or he, or you could say, did he study French in high school or did he study French? Um, there's like various ways you can actually write. It's the same pretty much. Did he study French? All of them. And number three, when did they graduate from college? Okay. Whether with capital, with not capital letters, but remember to always add a period at, or with a period at the end, etc. Do you guys have it correct? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Very good, very good. I'm happy. Let's go with part C. Okay, vocabulary. We have three more to go here. I'll give you five minutes for this part and then we can go over the answers together. Okay, good luck. Let me know when you guys are ready, okay? I finished, teacher. Yes, me too, teacher. I'm ready. Okay, super. Okay. Let's go over the answers together. Every summer, Sam used to go to the beach with his friends. Beach. beach. Number two, beach. Uh -huh. beach. I really enjoyed playing chess when I was a teenager. Yes. yes. And yes. number three, I'd had some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. A snake. You have them correct? Yeah. Super. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, let's all move into part D. Used for this part, we have four. So I'll give you um, five minutes for this one, five or six minutes. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Good luck. Okay, thank you.
Are you guys ready? Or do you need a couple more minutes? Finished? You guys finished? <clears throat> I finished, teacher. Okay, super. Okay, let's do it together then. Okay, let's do the exercise together. Go over the answers. Okay, for used to, number one, did you used to, or you could say, used to just used to or did you used to there's three ways you could have written it play soccer when you were a child yes i used to play soccer every day after school and um, number three and what things did you used to collect okay and then for number four oh i never collected because i'm not using used to anything when i was a kid but now i collect postcards Okay, do you guys have it correct? Yeah, teacher. Okay, super. Okay, guys. Good job. Now, let's move into word order, part E. Three for word order. I'll give you five minutes for this one, okay? Good luck. <clears throat>
Are you guys ready? We're finished. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Ready, teacher. Okay, super. Let's go over the answers together for this one. So for this one, we needed to use um, much too, there is too much pollution, for example, they give us an example here, whether it's too much or fewer, okay? So for example, for number one, we have, there should be fewer cars and less noise. For number two, they were asking us, lanes should more we bicycle have? We should have more bicycle lanes or we should have more bicycle lanes. Yeah. This one, we should have more bicycle lanes. That's the correct one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for number three, pollution is much there to air. The answer is, there is too much air pollution. There is too much air pollution. Okay. Okay. Okay, super. Okay, let's go to our next section, which is indirect questions. For this one, we have four. I'll give you five more minutes for you to do it. Five minutes. Hmm? And then we're going to go over the answers together. Good luck. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right, teacher. Okay, super. Thank you, Ruby. Just gonna give the rest a couple more minutes.
Okay, let's go over the answers together. For number one, we have indirect questions. Where is the nearest restaurant? Our indirect question would be, do you know where do the nearest know? restaurant is? Yeah, do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Super. For number two, how much do newspapers cost? Could you tell me so how much three. newspaper costs? Excellent. Number three. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Yay. For number three, where is the best bookstore in town? Number two, do you know where, yes, where the best bookstore in town is? Excellent. Good job. And the last one, what time do the banks close? Can you tell number me one. what time? Uh, number one. Can you tell me what time the banks close? Very good. Super. Good job, guys. Excellent job. And I think this is our last part, which is our reading comprehension part, right? So there's something you have to read for this one. I'll give you 10 minutes, five for reading and then five for answering the questions. If you finish before, let me know, okay? Tell me when you're finished. Good luck. Okay, thanks. Thanks.
Let me know when you guys finish, okay? When you're ready. I finished, teacher. Okay. Anybody else finish? I finished, teacher. Okay, super. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so let's go over the answers together. <clears throat> Okay, according to the reading comprehension, Dean Kamen invented the C Segway HT, which is our third option, right? <clears throat> Number two, the Segway HT is cheaper than buying a car, which is our first option. Number three, this new transportation device recharges in four to six hours. And number four, the Segway HT could replace a bicycle. A bicycle, bicycle. Okay, do so you guys have them all correct? In my case, yes, teacher. Super. Yes. Okay, too. fantastic. Yes. Okay, super. I'm, I'm happy you guys scored high here. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so this was your first midterm. Okay, then we have a final that goes all the way to the end, but we're, we're gonna do that for our last class. But right now, we're gonna move forward and try to start up. We're gonna start today, but we're gonna continue tomorrow, which is our next topic, which is simple past versus present perfect, okay? Um, so let's pay attention to the following video. If you guys don't have any more questions, no questions so far? No? No okay. question. Okay, super. Okay, so let's get started with, this is like a little induction because tomorrow we're going to go deeper into this topic, okay? We, we, I have a game planned also for this topic, which is the difference between simple past and Present perfect, difficult topic. So let's pay attention to Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're gonna learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're gonna use the simple past, and you're not gonna use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week 
about that particular question, right? Such so as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, 
I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month oh sorry i ate sushi last month oh really and then whenever you start talking about that past experience the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past did you like did you like it now how would you respond to that well you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't, I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes I have and then I want you to tell me that past experience so similar to the examples that we see on the chart let's say the question is have you ever eaten Mexican food and let's say that your answer is yes I have then you will tell me where and how did you like it so as you can see what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. Guys, this was just an introduction to what we're going to be going over tomorrow, okay? So if you want, you can watch the video over again. Hello. Oh, sorry for that. So you can watch the video all over again, but tomorrow we're going to go into um, deeper. We're going to play a game. We're going to practice the difference between simple past and the present perfect. This is just like a little induction with the video that's on the platform. Um, but today's main focus was for you to do the midterm. Uh, congratulations. I know you achieved a very good score. I'm super proud of you and happy. I will see you tomorrow at the same time and um, have a blessed night. Okay, guys? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, you thank tomorrow. you for joining in. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Good night.